entering the municipality of Compostela as you can see up ahead our home Compostela so this is my municipality that I'm gonna feature in this video so I just passed by here before and get a little bit of footage but this time we will be looking around Compostela because I got a few requests that they want to see their hometown since they cannot come back here yet the people that live, used to live here now that is living abroad for so long and they haven't been home for a while so they want to see what's happening with their hometown and like, like the places I featured Balamban, Toledo and that's now the premise of my channel although I still gonna do some pricing and all that once in a while but because um, of this pandemic it's not so popular yet uh, the pricing and because also a lot is copying and so like Ned said this is now become my trademark so which I also enjoy anyway so we are now here in Compostela obviously that we are still on the central nautical highway but I will take you to one of your popular the most known here in Compostela is the Q Park so let's see what they got there they have a big park about 200 hectares that's quite popular around Compostela especially during the Lenten season Easter and all that and Compostela as we have noticed is a seaside municipality so you have to expect a lot of beach resorts catering for the locals and even the foreigners alike so if you look at the right side Lutao Shores Compostela so that's beach resort Deposito Compostela Patricia Beach so there's a lot of beach resort that you can go and bonding Golden Horizon so I'm going through Q Park I'm just gonna have to check my bearings first just bear with me okay stop all the way at the queue park you notice that it's uh, that's the popular park here and Compostela is known for is the cute park so a Mehan Beach Resort although they are not blessed with um white sand shores but they have what you call dark shores so um, some people look at that if, it, if, don't, if they don't have the white sand beach it's a dirty beach but not really not all the seaside of sands have white sands so if you enjoy the bonding more than the actual swimming and the swimming is not so bad that's perfect you don't have to spend so much to have your fun and enjoyment with your family so we are still on our way to the Poblacion Liluan and you, obviously there's a few subdivisions here now you Wellington subdivision that's another beach resort going there 
Another popular beach resort here is has been there for so long. Is Taka is Taka Beach Resort? I don't know if it's still a chap. It's not Chaka, you know. But I haven't been in that one. But this is now the Poblacion Compostela, where the central market is as you can see on the right side Compostela public market And on the left side is the municipal hall. side but I don't know I need to check again where I can turn but we are still here in Poblacion Compostela Boardwalk Resort and Recreation Center so the roads here has become narrower only two lanes so if you park on the other side you'll be causing traffic so I have to find a proper parking space Sean roads are narrower here. Yeah. Come on. Uh oh. So I'll find parking space is getting wider up up ahead so I could just go on the side there in Kanamukan Beach Bridge let me go ahead so I'll have a good view as well the bridge So this is still Compostela, the Gimbal Kanamukan Barangay and I will be looking for the Bulwang left turn that will take me to the Q Park which is Compostela is known for. Up ahead on the right you'll see that's the Green Lagoon. Green Lagoon Park in which I have a video as well. You can search it in my channel. Then we go further. It's this go. So there's the pension house there. Milk tea and stuff like that.
Costella Sports Center and obviously you can see it's a cockpit arena Bali Bird is subdivision on the right another pension house somewhere there so you can even see the signs about Holy Week at the Q Park so that's what we're gonna have a look the Q Park here in Compostela which they are famous for There's Cascade Nature Park. There. Let me just go and park somewhere and then I'll check where I can turn. If it's on the right side, just bear with me. Oh, almost there. It's on Bulwang. So we go a little bit further because the now is still five kilometers away. So I'm on the right side. Bulwang is almost there. So there will be a turning somewhere here. Is this that will take me to Buwang Park, the Q Park? so bad considering that it's a rural area Merlin Pavilion on the right um, wow that's for like weddings and stuff like that for events and the road is now getting real you know so this is it a very rural road so I gotta be careful because you know you might meet some big trucks on the way because <laughs> look how narrow it is Compostela Road. So my Google Maps says I'm three minutes away from the queue part. Welcome to Barangay Buluang Buluang. There you can see it up ahead. And Q Park is this way.
soon with a rise at Clare House. So keep park this way. Look at all the lands around here. Farms, uh, vegetable farms there on the right side. Someone cooking the John. Must, must be Piesta around here. They got their banners on. So this is Barangay Bulu, Bulu Ang Buluang. There's still a sign there, Q Park, this way. I'm taking you to places which most of those travelers don't even take you because they're scared. You know? Like, so you know, like, you're like traveling with me, you're with me on the back. This is Situ Proper Porok Tree Barangay Bulwang. Again, a few parks this way sign. Oh, they're making a nice road up there, but it's very steep. On the road, oh, get real now. There's no, the road is crap, you know. The but all right, they got those decorations that means that we are inside here. Oh, well, hold. So the people here in this city is really into plants. Look, they make it nice on the roadside. So the queue park this way. here also this is the queue park on the left side 